Hi, this is Chris, Chapin the Cap, Motor Legends. Today we're going to be talking about a new short boot from the German brand Held. It's a boot that's called the Saxton boot. This is the Saxton boot from Held. We started working with Held only in 2020. We took on a number of gloves because their gloves are world famous. We took on a boot, a commuting boot called the Anoni, uh, a tall touring boot, a little bit like a Daytona. We were so impressed with the products, the quality, the construction, the fits that we've decided for 2021 that we'll take on a few more items. We've taken on two or three suits, we've taken on a number of accessories and we've taken on these boots, the Saxon boots. If I were to run through the spec of the boot, it would sound pretty familiar. I think it would sound like a number of other boots that we sell. So for example, a, an oiled full grain leather, a waterproof membrane, in this case a Gore-Tex membrane, a toe, an ankle and a heel counter, a gear change pad, a zip up the inside, even a Vibram outer sole. We do lots of boots that have a very similar spec to that. So this is another one, a somewhat cheaper boot. It doesn't have all of that spec, but it's a pretty similar boot. So if I launched into that same spec, I'd be saying it's a oiled full grain leather, you've got a gear change pad, you've got a counter in the toe, a counter in the heel, counter in the ankles. This one actually doesn't have a Vibram sole and it doesn't have a zip up the side, but you get my point. This boot in terms of what it appears to offer looks like and sounds like a lot of boots that we sell, but I think this is an exceptional pair of boots. They feel incredibly strong, incredibly heavy duty. There's no twisting of that sole. The spec makes no mention of a shank in the sole, but there must be because that is super strong. And when talking about the counters in the toe, these are super strong affairs. So this is a really rugged boot. And whereas we love the TCX X blends, I've got a feeling that the person who buys a pair of these, as opposed to the TCX X blends, will be wearing these long after the TCXs have been hung up. The other thing that distinguishes this boot from most other boots on the market, and it's the mark of a traditional handmade high quality boot, is that the Saxons have a proper Goodyear welt. What that is, you take the upper of the boot or the shoe, you sew a welt, that's this leather strip that goes all around the boot. You then have the upper sole that's sewn into that welt, and that is then sewn through into the midsole. What you then do, you put a layer of cork in between the upper sole and the midsole. And as you wear the boots, your foot molds into the cork. So the mold, the cork takes the shape of your foot and it becomes ever more comfortable. It is the mark of a very superior level of boot. There are a number of boots on the market that look as though they have Goodyear welted soles because the distinguishing feature is this sewn line here. There are boots out there that have these sew marks and they're actually plastic. There are some that actually have real sewing here that still aren't Goodyear welts, but this is a properly Goodyear welted boot. In terms of the other boots that we do that I think could be compared with them, there's the Roca Urban Racer. That's also actually a Goodyear welted boot. It's not a waterproof boot per se. The leather has been hydrophobically treated on that boot in the tanning. So it is fairly waterproof, but this is going to be more waterproof still. The other boot that one might compare it with, I think it's a more obvious comparison, is the Daytona, the AC Classics GTX. That's also a Gore-Tex boot. It's a similar boot in terms of spec. In this case, it is a very similar spec to the AC Classics. That's a, it's an acquired taste in terms of look. It's a boot that looks more like a walking boot than a riding boot. This looks more like a riding boot. In terms of cost, this comes in at 275. The Rokas, I think, 299. The AC Classics is somewhere around 325. So for the quality, for the components you get with this boot, I do not think 275 sounds out of order. I think on one level, you could say, given the expectation of how long you might be wearing this, I'm gonna come back to that, but I think you could say it was almost good value. Only one criticism, and it's not a criticism from me, but it came up from a customer when we reviewed these boots a while ago, or we mentioned that we'd be taking them on soon. We put them on a Facebook post, and someone came back and said, I really don't like this imprinting of the Held logo on the gear change pad. And I'm not sure that I disagree. 
there's no need for branding here. It looks a little bit um, out of kilter. And I agree when the gentleman said, with a pair of boots like this, you want to look cool. You don't want branding all over it. So I'm not disagreeing with that customer's view. I think I would say that by the time you've ridden for this or ridden in this boot for three months, six months, the road grime, the dirt, the oil, you won't notice that at all. So we think it's a very special boot. There's one final element that I think is going to make it even more special. And it's an attribute that's exclusive, as far as I know, to Held. All of Held's boots are guaranteed for five years. Nobody else on the market does that. Daytona guarantee their boots for just two years. Just want to explain an issue, however, on warranty, because people think that what that means is if I've got a five-year warranty, whatever happens to this boot in five years, they'll replace it, they'll repair it, and so on. It does not mean that at all. It means that you are guaranteed against manufacturing faults for five years. So if you ride along and you drag these soles on the floor and they wear out, that's your problem. They can have them repaired or we can send them back to held and they will have, have them repaired. But if you were to commute in these every day and do this zip up and down, you would eventually wear it out. So warranties do not cover wear and tear. So the question is, what does the warranty cover? And the view is that it would cover any water ingress issues. So if you buy a pair of these, you can still wear them out if you treat them harshly enough, but you would still be covered for against water ingress for the full five years. So what you're gonna get with these boots is a guarantee that your feet are going to stay dry, unless of course water comes in over the top, but you're guaranteed to have dry feet for a full five years, and that indeed is very impressive. If you'd like to see more gear from the Held, then visit the website motolegends.com. If you'd like to learn more about the Saxon boot, then if you click on one of the links on the screen, sometimes they're up there, sometimes they're down there, that will take you directly to the relevant page on the website. Once you're there, you can check out the spec in a little bit more detail, you can check availability, and obviously if you want to buy a pair of these boots, then you can do that there and then. When you buy from us, we try to make the process simple, straightforward, and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge of, on any item of protective wear. Returns are totally free. And what's more, we give you a full 12 months in which to decide whether you do want to return something to us. John Lewis is rightly famed for its never knowingly undersold price promise. Our price promise goes one stage better. If you can find anyone selling anything that we sell at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat that retailer's price by a full 10%. Now, if the retailer is in the EU and not in the UK, we will match their landed price. There are a few terms and conditions associated with what we call our price beat. Nothing particularly onerous, but if you are going to price beat us, I suggest you visit the website and check out what those terms and conditions are. If you'd like in future to receive email bulletins from us about new products and product launches, then if you go to the website, at the top of every page, there's a piece of script that says newsletter sign up. Click on there, within seconds you'll be in business, in future you'll receive email bulletins from us. If however you prefer to get your information videographically, that is to say in this form, we would be simply delighted if you want to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Now this is 2021. In 2020, we gave away to a YouTube subscriber a Mutt 125cc motorbike that we had customized a little to look like a Steve McQueen desert sled. This year, we're gonna go a little bit up market. We're gonna be giving away a 250cc Fantic Caballero Scrambler. It's a gorgeous little bike, but we're not gonna be giving it away to a YouTube subscriber. Rather, we're gonna be giving it away to somebody who follows us on Facebook. We'll be giving the bike away just before Christmas at the end of this year. So if you wanna stand a chance of winning this lovely little bike, then go over to Facebook and obviously follow us. I'd like to finish with a play for our fabulous little shop here at Moto Legends. We are based about a mile from the center of Guildford, a mile from the railway station. And as I've suggested, the shop is fairly small, it's got a small footprint, but it's attached to our warehouse where we have more than two million pounds worth of merchandise arranged over three floors. It technically makes this the second largest motorcycle apparel shop in the UK. But we think that we are far more than just the amount of merchandise we have here in the building. We're all about service, we're all about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star ranking in the business. When you come and see us, we'll serve you only the finest Illy Italian coffee, or we'll serve you proper Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. And who knows, if you're lucky, you might even get to sample one of Sean's mum's delicious motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.